Hello, I'm Rodney Taylor, and I'm the chair of the Department of Otorhinolaryngology at the University of Maryland. And while the pandemic has impacted many aspects of our life, I can assure you that our enthusiasm for having an opportunity to engage and introduce you to our program has not been dampened in the least. In addition to providing world-class, high-quality, compassionate care to patients, our number one priority is the education and training of residents. We're very privileged to be in an academic center that is home to 43 academic departments, centers, and institutes of excellence. The reason that we exist is to fundamentally provide outstanding patient care in a way that is recognized nationally. Our goal is to focus on the provision of solutions to diseases of the ear, nose, and throat and the way that it translates to patient care. And finally, we are fundamentally here to provide the next generation of excellent thinkers, technical experts, and wonderful human physicians. We look forward to inviting you into our family, a family that focuses on values that unite us and in a place where though residency can be difficult, we are also focused on enjoyment and personal development. And this is why we think the University of Maryland would be a wonderful place for you to spend the next five years of your training as part of our family. We welcome you. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Guardiani, and I am the Residency Program Director for the Otolaryngology Program at the University of Maryland. We are extremely proud of our residency program, and I hope by the end of your visit with us today that you'll see why. We are a fully ACGME accredited, five-year comprehensive otolaryngology training program consisting of three residents per year. We are continuously modifying and improving our curriculum based on resident and faculty feedback. Our residents have dedicated rotations in all subspecialties of otolaryngology and get to spend some time with physicians outside of otolaryngology, including dermatologic surgeons and endocrine surgeons. Our residents have the opportunity to see patients across a variety of different settings, including outpatient faculty clinics, the Baltimore VA Medical Center, which is on the same campus as our same university hospital, the R. Adams Cowley Shock Trauma Center, which is a full service trauma hospital connected to our main hospital, as well as at our Midtown campus, which has more of a community hospital feel. Because we have no fellows in our department, our educational mission is almost entirely devoted to residents. We are an extremely high volume clinical center and residents graduate with over 2,000 cases by the end of their residency. Our residents have a two-year didactic curriculum which consists of one hour of faculty-led didactics and one hour of resident-led didactics per week in addition to a variety of multidisciplinary conferences. Our residents go on to a multitude of different careers after residency and we are extremely proud of them all. We've had residents match into the most competitive subspecialty fellowships. Residents go on to academic careers, as well as go on to be successful private practice at a laryngologist. Our goal is to set you up for success in whichever path that you choose. Thanks for taking the time to visit with us today and learn more about our program. And if you have questions at the end of the day today, please feel free to reach out. We'd be happy to answer any other questions that you have. <laughs>